Welcome to the Sacramento County Public Law Library Civil Self-Help Center Name Change Video Screencast. This screencast is designed to help you complete the papers necessary to change your name through the Superior Court of California. Although a few of the details in this screencast are specific to Sacramento County, the general instructions may be applied to any court within the state of California with some modification. If you are filing in a different county, be sure to learn and understand your county's procedures prior to completing your forms. Before we begin, you may have a few other options for changing your name than a civil name change case. First, if you are restoring a former name after a divorce that has already been completed, in California you can restore your former name using your divorce case. This process is very easy, quick, and inexpensive compared to the name change process described today. If you are attempting to change the name of a child and also establish or change parentage for this child, you would need to typically do this through a Uniform Parentage Act case, or UPA case. A name change case cannot be First, you must complete the necessary paperwork to file the name change and then copy and file these papers with the appropriate court to receive your case number and hearing date. The document that has the hearing date is called an order to show cause. You must have the order to show cause published in a newspaper in the county in which you are receiving your name change prior to the hearing. The newspaper will create a document called a proof of publication that must be filed with the court to confirm that the order to show cause was published once per week for four consecutive weeks. Most courts, including the Sacramento County Court, publish tentative rulings before the hearing date to allow you to see the day before your hearing whether your request is granted or if there are any problems you must resolve in order to have your request granted. If your name change is done properly, it will usually be granted without a court hearing and the decree changing name will be mailed to you. The cost to file a petition for change of name is $395. You may request that this filing fee be waived by filing a request to waive court fees and costs with the petition. This fee is accurate as of October 17, 2011. The cost to publish your order to show cause for change of name varies and depends upon which newspaper you choose. Each newspaper sets their own rate and the lowest appears to be around $45 with the highest being around $300. This publication fee depends upon the circulation of the newspaper as well as the policies of the newspaper and cannot be waived. The forms you will need to change your name through the Superior Court of California are the Civil Case Cover Sheet Form CM-010, the Petition for Change of Name Form NC-100, the Attachment to Petition for Change of Name, Form NC-110. The Order to Show Cause for Change of Name, Form NC-120. And the Decree Changing Name, Form NC-130. If you are changing the name of a child, and that child's other parent is not going to be a petitioner on this case, you will need to have that parent served with the order to show cause for change of name. You will also need the form Proof of Service of Order to Show Cause Form NC-121 to show that this has been done. Finally, if you are changing the name of a child between the ages of 12 and 17, that child will need to write a statement under penalty of perjury that he or she consents to having his or her name changed. This can be done on Form MC-030, Declaration. These forms may be obtained by going to your local court and requesting a name change packet. You may also download these forms from www dot courts c o u r t s dot c a dot g o v types of name changes not covered today include the change of name of a child by a legal guardian as this requires some additional paperwork and changes of name and gender following gender reassignment surgery as different forms are used for this before we begin, I'd like to discuss two definitions. 
first present name. This is the full current legal name of the person whose name is to be changed. Typically this is the name on that person's birth certificate, citizenship order, or previous name change decree. The second is proposed name. This is the full name the person changing their name wishes to have at the completion of the name change procedure. As you complete the name change papers, please be sure to use the present name in all spaces unless the proposed name is specifically requested. As you complete forms in the following steps, please feel free to pause or rewind this presentation to allow yourself time to complete the forms. The first form you will be completing is the Civil Case Cover Sheet, Form CM-010. At the time the screencast was made, the most recent revision was July 1, 2007. Locate the box in the upper left-hand corner labeled Attorney or Party Without Attorney. If you are changing your own name, print your full present name, address and telephone number where indicated, and in the line that says Attorney for, write in pro per. This is an abbreviation for a Latin phrase that means you are representing yourself. If you are changing the name of your child under the age of 18, the name that appears would still be your full present name, and if the other parent is going to be signing the petition as well, the other parent's full present name. In the box it says Superior Court of California, County of, write your court's information. In Sacramento, it is the Sacramento County Court, and the address is 729th Street, Sacramento, California, 95814, and the branch name is Civil. In the box it says Case Name, write in re, and then the full present name of the person whose name is being changed. In the box below that says Civil Case Cover Sheet, check the box that says Unlimited. Although your case is not asking for any money, this box must be checked because the old municipal courts that gave way to limited civil cases did not have the power to change a name. In the box below, in the lower right hand corner, check the box that says Other Petition. No other boxes should be checked. In item two, check the box is not complex. In item 3, check the box for non-monetary. In box number 4, write the number of persons whose name is being changed. And in box 5, check the box for is not to indicate that this is not a class action lawsuit. Then, date, print, and sign on the signature lines below. If this is being filed by two parents requesting to change the name of a child or children, both parents would print their names and sign. The next form you need is the Petition to Change Name, Form NC-100. At the time that this screencast was made, the most recent revision was January 1, 2010. The top caption of this form is similar to the top caption of the civil case cover sheet. In the box it says attorney or party without attorney. Print your full present name, address, telephone number, and in pro per, just as you did in the previous form. If you are a parent changing the name of a child, use your name, and if this is being filed by both parents, both parents' names. The court information goes below and in the box it says Petition of, if you are changing your name, print your full present name. If you are changing the name of a child, print the full name of the parent or parents, just as you did in the top box. On line 1, write the full present name of the petitioner or petitioners. If you are changing your own name, this is your full present name. If you are changing the name of a child, this is the full present name of the parent or parents that are signing this petition. In paragraph 2, on lines A through D, write the present name of the person whose name is going to be changed on the left-hand side and the proposed name of the person on the right-hand side. 
please be sure to spell out fully the present name and proposed name, as initials or omissions may cause names to be lost or changed to single letters. On line 4, write the number of persons who are under the age of 18 whose name is being changed by this petition. If you are changing only your own name and you are over the age of 18, this will be zero. Line 5 is only filled out by persons who are seeking to change the name of children under the age of 18. If you are changing the name of someone under the age of 18, indicate whether it is requested by both parents, the mother only, the father only, or a near relative or guardian. Please note additional paperwork will be required for items D or E or F. On line 6A, write the number of persons whose names are being changed. The next form that you need is the Attachment to Petition for Change of Name, Form NC110. At the time of this screencast, this form was last revised on January 1, 2003. In the box it says Petition of, print your full present name. If you are changing the name of your child, this would also be your full present name. However, it may also contain the name of the other parent if the other parent is signing the petition as well. In the line below that says attachment blank of blank, write the numeral one of and then whatever number of attachments there will be. Typically one of one if you are only changing your own name. In paragraph 6b, check the box for self if you are changing your own name and the box for other if you are changing the name of a child. On 6b1, where it says present name, Print the full present name of the person whose name is being changed, including all middle names. In 6b2, where it says proposed name, print the full proposed name of the person whose name is being changed, including all middle names. On 6b3, print the date of birth of the person whose name is being changed, and check the box to indicate whether this person is under the age of 18 or over 18 years of age. If you are changing your own name, you must be over 18 years of age. In 6b4, print the city and state of the place of birth of the person whose name is being changed. If this person was not born in the United States, print the city, state or province, and country or other identifying information sufficient to determine where this person was born. In 6b5, print the gender Check the box for male or female to indicate the gender of the person whose name is being changed as indicated on their original birth certificate. In 6b6, print the address of the person whose name is being changed. This must be a residential address and must include the street, city, county, and zip code. In paragraph 6c, briefly explain the reason why you are requesting the name change. This explanation should be clear and concise and understandable by a person who is reading this for the first time without any previous knowledge of the person whose name is being changed. In 6D, check the appropriate box to indicate how the person whose name is being changed is related to you. If it is yourself, you check the box 6D1, for example, or if you are changing the name of your child, 6D2. If the person whose name is being changed is under the age of 18, in 6E1 and 2, you would indicate the name and address of each of that per child's parents. If the address of any parent is unknown, you could indicate that it is unknown, however, you will typically need to find that parent to have them served with the order to show cause for change of name. If either parent is deceased, under the address you may simply indicate deceased. If that child has no parents, then you must indicate any near living relatives of that child in 6E3. If the person whose name is being changed listed on this attachment is age 18 or over, he or she must sign and complete the declaration in the box in item 6F. 
If that person is in state prison or on parole, check the I am box. Otherwise, check the I am not box. If that person is required to register as a sex offender under Penal Code Section 290, check the I am box. Otherwise, check the I am not box. The person signing would then need to date, print, and sign to indicate that what is in that box is true. Please be sure that only two check boxes in this declaration are checked. Note that if you are in state prison or on parole or are required to register as a sex offender, there are additional steps you will need to take before you will be permitted to change your name. The signature line just below this box is used only by attorneys. Skip to the second signature line from the top. There, date, print your name, and sign. If you are signing this with another parent, that other parent would then print their name, date, and sign on the signature line below yours. If any of the persons whose name is being changed are children aged 12 and over, they must consent to have their name changed. You may indicate this consent using Form MC030 Declaration. This declaration can be very simple and should indicate that the child is aware that his or her name is being requested to be changed and that he or she consents to have his or her name changed. The minor then signs the declaration. The next form you will need to complete is the Order to Show Cause for Change of Name, Form NC120. As of the date of this screencast, the most recent revision was on July 1st, 2007. By now, you should be pretty good at completing the caption. On the top of the Order to Show Cause, in the box that says Petitioner or Attorney, print your full present name, address, telephone number, and where it says Attorney for, write in pro per. If more than one person is petitioning, such as in the case of two parents petitioning for the change of name of a child or children, both parents' names would appear in this box. In the box that says Superior Court of California County of, if you are in Sacramento, write the word Sacramento and the address of the court, 729th Street, Sacramento, California, 95814, and the branch name is Civil. In the box that says Petition of, write the full present name of each petitioner. If you are changing your own name, this would be your full present name. If you are changing the name of a child or children, this would be your full present name and may also have the full present name of the other parent of the child or children if that other parent is signing the petition. In paragraph 1, in the line that says petitioner, write your full present name. If you are changing the name of a child or children, print your full present name and if the other parent is also petitioning, print that other parent's full present name as well. Then, in sections A through E, below, where it says present name and proposed name, in the column for present name, print the full present name of each person whose name is being changed, and in the proposed name column, print the full proposed name for each person whose name is being changed. There is space to list five different names, however additional names may be added by checking the Continued on Attachment 1 box and attaching an additional page labeled Attachment 1. In paragraph 2, there is a line that says Notice of Hearing and below that is a box. This box has blanks for the date, time, and department of your hearing. Check the box for department, but leave the line behind that blank. The clerk will fill in the date, time, and department for you. And then, on line 2B, check the box for Other, and then in the line immediately below, write the address for the Law and Motion Department, 813 6th Street, 2nd Floor, Sacramento, California, 95814. Check box 3A to indicate that your order to show cause will be published in a newspaper, and in the blank spot below, print the name of the newspaper that you will be printing it in. Be aware that once you choose this newspaper and the order to show cause is issued, you will not be able to have it published in a different newspaper, absent having an amended order to show cause issued by the court. This may cause a delay in having your name change granted. When choosing your newspaper, there are a number of factors you may wish to consider. The first factor is cost. 
Most publications have a similar price range, but in the Sacramento area, the range is typically between about $45 and $300, depending on circulation. The second factor you will wish to consider is the location of the newspaper. How convenient is it for you to pick up documents from them if you have to? Whether that newspaper files the proof of publication for you or requires you to file it yourself. A newspaper that submits the proof of publication to the court on your behalf saves you the step of picking up this form, copying it, and submitting it to the court prior to your name change hearing. A list of newspapers is available from the Sacramento County Public Law Library and contains contact information for a number of newspapers in the area. The next form you need will be the decree changing name form NC-130. As of the date of this screencast, the most recent revision to this form is July 1, 2007. In the top caption where it says petitioner or attorney, print your full present name, address, and telephone number, and where it says attorney for, print in pro per. If you are changing the name of a child, it might also include your present name as well as the present name of the other parent, if the other parent also signed the petition. The information for the court goes below in the box that says Superior Court of California, County of, and for Sacramento, that is once again, 729th Street, Sacramento, California, 95814, and the Civil Division. In the box that says Petition of, write your full present name, and if this is a decree for change of a child's name and there is more than one petitioner, print the name of the other petitioner as well. Items 1 and 2 are generally filled out by the court and need not be completed. In item 3, copy the present names and the new names from the order to show cause, just as they were on that document. Please be sure that you have no typos or misspellings in this section, as this is the actual court order that will be signed by the judge to change your name. Any mistakes in this document may result in you or your children receiving a different name than the one desired. Now that you have completed all of the paperwork necessary to request that your name be changed, you must prepare your paperwork for filing with the court. First, make two copies of all of the documents that you have prepared with the exception of the order to show cause for change of name. Make three copies of that document. This is the document that is going to be published in the newspaper. Keep in mind that the petition for change of name and all of the attachments to the petition for change of name are a single document. Arrange the original and the copies of each document so that the original is on top and the copies are underneath. If any document is more than one page, the copy is stapled. However, the originals are left unstapled. Next, file your papers at the courthouse. If you are filing in Sacramento County, file the originals and the copy at 813 6th Street on the second floor between 8.30 a.m. and noon, Tuesday through Friday. If you are filing outside of Sacramento County, check with your local Superior Court to know where to file. The filing fee you will be charged when you file your request is $435, unless a request to waive fees is filed at the same time. The court will keep the original and stamped copies of the documents and return the stamped copies to you. Your next step is to publish the order to show cause in a newspaper. The publication must be once a week for four consecutive weeks before the date of the court hearing. The proof of publication must be filed with the court before the hearing date. If your newspaper does not file this for you, be sure to obtain a copy of the proof of publication and file it with the court. If you are petitioning to change the name of a child and the other parent is not joining you on the petition, you must have that other parent served with the order to show cause. You must use Form NC-121, Proof of Service of Order to Show Cause, to show that this was done. As of the date of this screencast, the most recent revision of this form was January 1st, 2001. If the parent lives in California, 
this service must be done by personal service, meaning that someone over the age of 18 who is not a party to this case must deliver a copy of the order to show cause to that parent and must indicate who was served, the address where service took place, the date it was delivered, and the time on the order to show cause form. If the other parent lives outside of California, service may be done by first class mail with postage prepaid with the return receipt requested. In any event, the service must be done by someone over the age of 18 who is not a party to this case. Assuming that you have completed all previous steps, your next step will be to check the tentative rulings the day before your hearing. The Sacramento County Superior Court publishes at 2 p.m. the court day before your hearing how it intends to rule in your matter. You may call the court clerk for Department 16 at that time to have the tentative ruling read to you, or you may check online. If you have access to the Internet, it is usually much simpler to check online. Go to www.saccourt.ca.gov. Click on the link that says View Tentative Rulings from the front page. If for any reason this is not there, you may click the Civil Department and then click the View Tentative Rulings link from that page. Either link will take you to another screen with the window called CCMS Document Viewing. Under the document type, choose Tentative Ruling and then input your case number. For the event date, put the date of your name change hearing. Once you click search, a list of documents will appear, in this case, one document. This document is your tentative ruling. Click the view button. This will bring up a copy of your tentative ruling. If you have performed all of the steps for requesting your name to be changed correctly, the ruling will probably simply read the petition is granted as the one shown on the screen. If this is the case, you need to take no further action and your decree changing name will be sent to you in the mail. This order may also say appearance is required. This typically means that some sort of mistake has been made or further explanation is required and you will need to appear in court. Likewise, it may say that it is granted upon proof of publication being filed. If that is the case, you must immediately obtain a copy of the proof of publication from the newspaper in which you had it published and file this with the court prior to your hearing. If you wish to request oral argument on your name change, you must call the court between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. the court day before your hearing at the number indicated or else no hearing will be scheduled. Thank you for participating in the video name change screencast. If you have performed all of the steps correctly and file with the court as described, you will hopefully enjoy a new name soon.